everybody, it's Becky. I'm back today with a follow-up to a video I did quite a while ago about forgiveness. And I, I feel like I said a lot of what I have to share about forgiveness in that video, but I feel like it, it maybe was more from a different perspective. I've had some requests to do a second video about forgiveness, and it's, it's a complicated subject, and it's one that I certainly do not feel qualified to make just because I struggle with forgiveness just like I think pretty much everybody does. And I said a lot of what I really think about it in that other video. But a couple things that I have um, have really thought about, and I, so actually some things that were mentioned at church too over the last couple of weeks, um, are things that I thought I would share with you guys to maybe add to that other video and to help you. In case what I said in that video didn't strike a chord with you at all, maybe what I'll say in this video will. It's hard. I mean, we I think as as humans, we struggle with a lot of things, and forgiveness is a really big one. The main thing that I heard that was really something for me to think about was something that was said in church a couple weeks ago, and it's to love people more than they deserve and forgive people more than they deserve to be forgiven because Jesus did that for us. And that's that's pretty big. It's simple, but it's big. I mean, sometimes we get mad and we think, you don't deserve for me to be your friend anymore. You don't deserve for me to forgive you. But Jesus did that for us. He forgave us way more than we ever should, be, should have been forgiven. And he loved us way more than we should ever be loved. And, you know, our ultimate goal as Christians should be, and as people, should be to um, love people as much as we can, as much as Jesus loved us. And the person that has done you wrong probably doesn't deserve your forgiveness and they don't deserve your love. But God and Jesus call to us to love and forgive more than the other person deserves to be loved or forgiven. So that's just something to think about if it's really just a matter of you trying to be mad and like hold your friendship hostage and, or your love hostage or your forgiveness hostage and say, well, I'm not going to forgive you because you don't deserve to be forgiven. And they probably, they might not, but that's just something to think about. So that's just in regard to the other person that has wronged you. But also, I think forgiveness is just as important for how you are able to make peace with whatever has happened. And it's important for you to feel okay with what's happened. Whether you're able to forgive that person or not, you have to really relieve yourself of that burden because you can't carry that around forever, being mad and resentful and bitter towards somebody. It's not healthy for you. So even if you're not able to forgive the other person because they deserve it, Maybe you should work on forgiving them because you need to release that burden from yourself and from your heart. There was a quote that I saw online that says, Forgiveness has nothing to do with absolving a criminal of his crime. It has everything to do with relieving oneself of the burden of being a victim, letting go of the pain, and transforming oneself from victim to survivor. And so that's exactly what I just said. I mean, it's just as much about taking the pressure off yourself as it is about forgiving the other person. And that was C-R, I think it's Strahan, Strahan, S-T-R-A-H-A-N, that's their last name. Two more things. Um, one of them is a quote from C.S. Lewis, and it says, I think that if God forgives us, we must forgive ourselves. Otherwise, it is almost like setting up ourselves as a higher tribunal than God. That's a pretty intense statement <laughs> because clearly none of us are higher up than God. And if he's able to forgive us for all the things that we do, who are we to not be able to forgive somebody else? Of course, we're human. God's God, and He can do whatever. And we're human, so we're going to struggle with all those things. But keep that in mind when you're really working through your thoughts about somebody else and about forgiving that other person. Um, keep that in mind that if God can forgive us all the horrible things that we have done and will continue to do to Him and to Jesus, um, that we really should be able to work on trying our hardest to forgive because He forgave us. And the last quote that I found is from Nelson Mandela. And it says, resentment is like drinking poison and then hoping it will kill your enemies. And isn't that true? I mean, like I said, you're holding all that bitterness and hostility and resentment in your body and your brain and your thoughts and in your heart. And you're the one who is like pickling yourself from the inside, having all these sour thoughts about somebody else and, and hashing over it in your brain. And, and I'm not going to forgive them because they don't deserve it. And you're the one making yourself sick and lowering the quality of your life because you're holding all this on and keeping all this inside and all this pent up. And I'm not saying it's easy. And, um, you know, even if you are able to forgive somebody, you might still decide they shouldn't be in your life anymore. And that's okay. That doesn't mean you didn't forgive them. It just means that, you know, some people are not meant to be in our lives. That doesn't mean that we can't forgive them. And now, I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to say that... I could that I could forgive somebody for everything. I don't know. There's things that 
thankfully haven't happened to me that I haven't had to deal with. You know, in the news and all this stuff, you hear about people that are shot in a drive-by or their kids are, you know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't want to start listing off horrible things. There are lots of things that haven't happened to me that I don't know how I would handle it if it did. I don't know if I would be able to spout off all this stuff about forgiveness because I'm human and I don't know how I would be able to work through forgiving somebody of something that's inexcusable, like murdering somebody or, uh, you know, I don't know. I hope I never have to find that out. I don't know what, what you all are dealing with. But, you know, anybody that's watching this, whether you asked me to make this video or not, I don't know what you're dealing with. I don't know what you have to forgive and what you're facing. So I don't want to sit here and be like, well, God says to forgive and this person says this. And all these things, are, of course, are easier said than done. I mean, anything like that is easier said than done. Um, that's just something maybe to think about and um, maybe to help you wrap your brain around some of, the, of the, the resentment and the hostility that you're holding inside. It's something we all have to work about and my work through and work for and work with and all those things. And I guess my main thing would be to say to pray about it and to pray to help you to forgive people because that's really the only way I think any of us are ever really going to be able to forgive somebody. Not only to pray for the strength to work through it and face whatever you're dealing with, but to pray for the person that did wrong to you. Um, and that seems kind of counterintuitive as well, but you know, God does say to pray for our enemies to pray for them and to pray for your own, you know, for your say for yourself to find peace, to be able to forgive whatever has happened and that's really all I can say. Pray really hard about it and, and wait for God to help you and show you the way that you can forgive somebody. It's a very real struggle that I think we all face in one way or another. I hope that's helpful. I hope that maybe sheds a little bit of light on such a such a broad and horrible subject. I mean, there's so many different things that we have to forgive people for. Um, and just like when you make a mistake and you know you screwed up and you're the one that did something wrong, you also have to be able to forgive yourself. And that also could mean praying for the grace to forgive yourself. Not always somebody else. Sometimes it's us that needs forgiveness of ourselves. We screwed up. We messed up our lives. We did something horrible to somebody. And we're hanging on to that. And that bitterness and resentment towards ourselves can be just as damaging as fear or as resentment and hostility that we're having against somebody else that has done something to us. We have to be able to forgive ourselves and we have to be able to forgive others. And I really think the only way to do that is through prayer. If you have any suggestions or comments, leave them down below. Make sure you like this video if you liked it. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.